Hello. This week feels like the start of something new. We've just started the month of June and it has started with a, some lovely summer weather which we have sorely needed. After all these weeks of cold, wet, miserable weather, suddenly summer seems to have arrived. We can sit outside in our gardens or public spaces and enjoy relaxing. The sunshine lifts our mood and the prospects of holidays and days out beckons. <clears throat> Secondly, our new curate-to-be Holly and her family have just moved into their new home. I've just been to see her today and amidst all the packing boxes they seem to be happy in their new place, with the children looking forward to starting their new school and Holly just finishing off her studies and getting ready for ordination at the end of this month. They were thrilled with the welcome we gave them and thank you to all who contributed to that. I think the timing is good. We're all hoping that the final restrictions will be lifted over the summer and that we can have more social events, see each other in person and get to know each other better. We're looking forward to welcoming Holly and the family among us and to a new chapter in our lives together. And finally, it's been really good to have in the news this week the announcement that there were no deaths to the coronavirus on one day for the first time since March last year. What good news that is! At last the vaccine has been doing its work, the lockdown restrictions have been worthwhile and we're seeing good results for all the efforts which we have put in over the last months. The prospect of new things is exciting. There's no doubt that the last year or so has been full of challenges and difficulties for us in different ways. We're looking forward to saying goodbye to restrictions, loneliness, constant figures on the news about numbers of deaths and infections, and we're looking forward to better times ahead. I'm reminded about a verse in Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, where he writes this. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. God calls us to new, a new way of life in Christ. When we follow Christ, we say goodbye to the old life of sin and selfishness and we embrace a new life in Christ of love, joy, peace and grace. We know that all this doesn't happen overnight, that we're all on a journey of growth in our spiritual lives. But we do give thanks that Christ by his death and resurrection has brought us new life. We therefore want to press on and look forward to a new life, not looking back over our shoulder at the things we've left behind, but looking ahead with joy and excitement at all that God wants to do among us and through us. There is a lot going on in our churches at the moment as we prepare to reopen more fully to the public. At All Saints we have a lot of work going on preparing our beautiful building for visitors whom we hope will come and explore it over the summer and getting on with all the necessary cleaning and repairs which need to be done. We hope that we will also be prepared in our hearts and minds for the new things which God wants to do in and through us as we emerge from all the restrictions and step into a new future full of hope and promise. And now, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.